Hello gamers, in this video I'm going to show you how to get a full color palette in Splatoon 3's side order. Now, this video is meant to serve as a companion to the guide on how to best farm pearls, which surprise surprise turns out to be to get a fully monochrome palette. Now this isn't the type of run that you could pull off consistently perfectly, but you can pull it off good enough and I want to show you the thought process as I climb the tower and try to get a monochrome palette. First things first, just as I talked in the main video which you can check out linked down below, I have all of the hacks actually active, including the risky rewards just because I'm used to clearing floor 30 by this point. Important enough, we are going to be starting with 7670 pearls. For this run, I will be using the brush, which has a most common tone of blue. The main reason I'm doing this is because I think the brush and the charger are the most fun to use in monochrome runs. Uh, Luna is also pretty good, Luna is ridiculously fun as well, but out of these three, I think Luna is the slowest, Charger is the fastest, but you've probably already seen a bunch of Charger runs already, so instead I will be doing the brush. The last reason why I am going to do the brush is because it favors blue, and the only palette I have not perfectly maxed out is the blue ones, and I do not have a fully maxed moving ink speed. The reason you want to max these out, you can tell it's maxed out if the whole color bit underneath is fully colored, is that you get a little badge that you can put on your splash tag. That's it, that's all the reward you get, and the only thing you have to do is max out your chipset during the run which unlocks like a full conversation having all three of the characters talk about it but most of it is just very silly stuff you're not really missing much lore by not having you know the pearl text very optional i'm a completionist though so i would like to get this done anyways let us begin let us start climbing this tower all right first floor and we do not have any blues at all now in the main video i said if you are gonna break your streak break it like in the first floor so if you really wanted to do poison ink you could go for it here but i don't i want to go for full blue for this uh we reroll again and once again nothing no blues this is why having the reroll ability is nice here we do have a blue it's fortunate that it's not at a higher priced one it's easy but whatever we'll, we'll, we'll take all the blue we can get Okay, first floor slide the eight balls. Uh, I realized there's an easier way of doing this one, which is to slap this eight ball over there. And while they're chasing after that, and right now notice how slow we are moving. This is, we are one very slow octoling. And then this one just jumps up the warp pad and it will fill itself in. There you go. Floor one, clear, easy, no problem. Very slow though. We're about to get ridiculously fast by the end of this. Okay, here we have two options, right? We have swim speed up, we have mobile ink recovery. I'm going to go for the mobile ink recovery because of the higher difficulty and more coins. But there's manbox. More manbox equals more refresh if I need to refresh later on. Also more money to spend at the vending machines. Pyramid floor and we just have to break the two teleporters. Nice one about this. You just plow one of these guys, you push the thing in it, instantly dead. But the guy, oh, that pushed him the wrong way. It's okay. It'll take us a couple of extra seconds. Nice and easy clear. All right, floor three. Easy decision. Blue chip. Doesn't matter if they're not stacking onto each other as long as they're the same color. All right, this floor, defeat the fleeting foes. I don't know if there's a specifically good strategy for this. I just try to get them all on one side. Unfortunately, we're not fast enough yet to catch up to them with our brush. I wish we were though. I, I so wish we were. And there you go, spinny thing taking care of it for us. I don't even know the proper name for it. It's like a Beyblade. Floor number four, the double chip is tempting, but the double chip is not for what we need. We're going to get run speed up. Slowly getting faster and faster. Sonic's shaking in his boots. All right, more of the portals. Now, these are easy to speedrun if you have the charger. Not as easy to speedrun if you have the brush. Also, I gotta say, I made a video with the paintbrush talking about how there's probably like one more brush type that the game could have. And it would most likely be a basting brush. And I just want to point out, this brush is totally the basting brush. It's just the skin though. It's, it's a bit unfortunate that they made the basting brush the skin. Uh, but hey, that's still pretty cool. The basting brush is in the game now, indirectly. Still not as its own brush type, but it's there. Maybe in Splatoon 4, we will get an actual basting brush. Okay, floor five, we have access to a vending machine. However, I don't have a lot of coins. I'm gonna do one refresh in case we get a blue. We did not get a blue, so we'll go to a vending machine. My hope is that the vending machine will have some blue in it. Unfortunately, it does not. We can refresh it once though. It gets pretty expensive to refresh it multiple times. See, like it's 400 at this point. I could refresh it one more time and if there's a blue, we'll buy it, but there's no point in refreshing it. Oh, now, now it gives me two blues. And would you like that? Moving ink speed. Now this will let us brush a lot faster as a brush. And we have 200 coins to spare. All right, floor number six does not give us blue. Good thing we have coins to spare so we could do the refresh. Otherwise, the chain would have been broken right here and that would have been very unfortunate. 
but instead we're going to charge our special gauge as we move. More of the chasing, so now we can see how much faster we've gone. Uh, the answer is not that much faster. Still nowhere near close to fast enough to catch these guys, but I'll put down an ink mine for later. Hey guys. How did it live? It didn't live. I was so confused. That, that should have been dead instantly, but I think it flew off the map instead of uh, getting splatted. Okay, once again, no blue. It's not guaranteed. Just because you have the bias, it is not guaranteed. This time we have two options. We have a normal and a hard, and I'm always gonna go for the one that gives me more coins because what matters most is having enough coins to refresh because they're not gonna show up every floor and you do not wanna break this chain. All right, and there's more of these fishy guys, which the game just loves to give to me. All right, we got one of them, the other guy's on the run, and we just hammer. Oh yeah, they do fly off the map. You can you can see it by little black markings in there. There's a doubles, but it's not a doubles of what we need. We're gonna be extremely broke on this run. This is, this is a very unlucky run so far, because all of the floors that have had the blue tile on them have also been normal or easy. And that means not a lot of coins for us. The reason we want a lot of coins is because when you get them in the vending machine, you want to buy as much as possible, but like you need at least like 2000 coins to do an effective like vending machine run. I think with the brush, this is probably the most annoying stage type to do since uh, you have to slap this thing a lot, but it's not that bad and a nice smooth clear. I mean, it's easy. This is, this is an easy one. I was not expecting this to be difficult whatsoever. Okay, still giving us nothing good. But blue's there, so we're picking it up. Okay, and there's a flying guy who's gonna spawn on over here. They're the most annoying guys, and we can't even reach them. But that's okay. Those are the little guys that we can. Hello, another flying guy. We do not want you. All right, our next boss is the elusive bounder floor, AKA the bouncy urchin thing that is very difficult to catch up to, especially when you have a close range weapon like the brush. I think in practice with this boss, um, when you do have a close range weapon, I think it shoots out like slightly less bombs at the beginning. Yeah, it only shoots out one instead of it's three. Sometimes it's three, sometimes it's one. I think it varies depending on weapon type. Uh, you you kind of want to hit the head because that does more damage. But like, wh how am I gonna hit the head? I like, I, I don't, I just don't have the range. <laughs> Even missed with a hammer, no. Once it opens up, there is an extra weak spot. And, huh? oh my gosh, it's, it's, ev it's evading us. Okay, there you go. Phase one complete. If you guys have any tricks for this guy, let me know. Cause all the other bosses, they have like some sort of things you could do to kind of cheese the fight. I mean, with this, I guess it helps to have him open up, right? Cause there's more weak spots. But is that all there is to him? Or is there any like special weakness that I just don't know about? Cause it's extra difficult when he gets small like this, right? Oh, now he's gonna do his spinning attack, which we can easily dodge cause we're brush. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, that, that kind of hit him. I just, I missed every single <laughs> hammer throw. Uh, this is probably one of the weapons I've used the least during this run, but it's okay, you know? Sometimes you're gonna use stuff that you're not comfortable with, and that's okay, that's that's what makes it fun. You're using weapons that you don't always use. Now we have 1500 if, I was about to say, if there's a blue chip, we're picking up the blue chip. <laughs> now typically the way I gauge this is that if we're by floor 15, we should have about half of the pallet filled. Um, we do not have half of the pallet filled, which is not good for me, but what can I do? Just keep on brushing. Yeah, we're, we're really gonna have to get a bit more lucky if we want to get the full pallet. Now that's lucky. That's good. Mobile ink recovery and it's a hard stage. Oh, this, this is like the easiest of the splat zone stages in my opinion. I mean, you got guys coming in from three sides, but like they take turns spawning in. They're the jumpy guys could get you because they do like a little splashdown attack if you let them get too close, but like you don't have to let them get too close at all. And I think we get a little stinger guy, a sniper man. Yeah, no, we don't. <laughs> oh, never mind. I take it back. There's a second sniper guy. Panic. All right, nice and easy clear. I think at this point, I do want to hit up a vending machine. I know there is a guaranteed one on floor 15, but if I can buy multiple blue ones and I only have like one reset I could do. Nope, nope, I almost do not bud mash here. Now we're gonna reset the stock. We're gonna reset one more time. If nothing there, nothing there. Nope. Now we get something nice. The mobile drone gauge doesn't help because we don't really have any drone stuff, uh, but blue is blue. And that's all that matters. Now the real problem is we only have a hundred. Thankfully we get pretty lucky and there's a lot available. Uh, let's see, this causes our squid attack to do more damage. We're gonna go for the second one because more coins. All right, 
We got an eight ball stage. I guess there's supposed to be infinity balls instead of eight balls, but like that's an eight ball. Now the problem is these annoying beluga guys will push the ball out of the way. The rest of them though, they won't touch you. You can just run away. Come on, ball. Come on, ball. Ball, come on. Come. Thank you. <laughs> It's always unfortunate when the ball takes like 20 minutes to settle into that little thing. All right, now this one says danger on it, but the other thing I like to point out is there's this thing you can see on top of the chips, right? It's like the amount of glowy things, and if it's not maxed out, this means your chip has not been maxed out, as in you've never gotten this to all five, and that is part of what I'm trying to achieve here, so especially since we only have 300 coins and we cannot purchase anything more than one chip from the vending machine, we're gonna go with this, even though it says danger. I think we'll be fine. I can handle danger. All right, and we have no drone, which is a bit unfortunate because this means I cannot float over to the one I want to float over to, but that's okay. Nice thing is we have the mobile special charge. So now we can just hammer and then hammer and then just some, a slap, 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 slap. No, oh, okay. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not just slap, slap, slap. Nah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We were this close to dying, but we're good. <laughs> All right, we're halfway and we're only about halfway with our palette as far well. off. And look at that. Finally, after all these years, we get a double drop for the blue on a rigorous with a bonus. That's that's winning the Splatoon lottery right there. Well, what is this drone? OK, Pearl's about to like destroy everything now. Just look at the sprinkle thing go. <laughs> the sprinkle thing going ham. I'm going to grab all these. Just, just because, I mean, we don't really need them. Pearl, Pearl's gonna take care of us this round, but rigorous, it said. Rigorous. Unfortunately, <laughs> we're now gonna have to reroll the floors. Would you look at that? We have three options. I'm once again going to choose the one that I have not personally maxed out. Uh, but typically, you might want to just choose the squid attack one. That way, you're more likely to run into doubles of what you need. I'm a bit curious to hear what, what are you guys' thoughts on side order so far? I think in comparison to Octo Expansion, it doesn't have as much like shock factor, but the gameplay wise, I'm, I kind of enjoy this more than Octo Expansion. Because Octo Expansion was like, here's just a bunch of like challenging runs. And this is more, I mean, I guess this is a challenge in and of itself, right? But it gives you a lot of funny builds, like what we're doing here with, with our brush. Look at that. We're, we're, we can't one shot them yet, but we're, we're getting close to that point. It's more, it's fun because, because you get to like make the broken weapon you always wanted to have. And I was like, if we were to have a Grisco brush, this is what the Grisco brush would do. Wait, is this, is this a way for them to foreshadow what the Grisco brush would eventually do? Like, I know we're not getting one, but like if we get one in Splatoon 4, is that what the Grizz brush would do? Oh, and here you go. Squid attack. Oh, max this. Why not? It's already there and would give us extra coins, which is what we want. That vending machine after the boss is going to go hard. We're going hard on that vending machine. Okay. Oh, protect the zones. I, You know, the zone stages have been, in fact, my least favorite, uh, especially because of the sprinkle guys. You see the sprinkle guy? I don't like the sprinkle guy. Oh, thank goodness I have Pearl Drone. I cannot believe I fell off the map. I'm professional, trust me. Maybe you should not trust me. Maybe I'm just a silly bean faking it till they making it. Usually with some weapons, you can just perch up there and then and then farm the guys as they show up. I don't think the brush can, I don't think the brush can reach that far. Yeah, we don't have the reach to do that. This one's a bit frustrating, but not that difficult to clear. Now the other one, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? The zones ones with the double sprinkle fish that's like rotating. Look at that, double. Double drops on rush attack. Increases damage dealt by rushing attacks like Reef Slider and inking while moving with your roller and brush. This is going to make us be able to basically one shot the medium guys at this point. Can't one shot the belugas, but can one shot the medium guys. Okay, there is, this seems to be a danger level. It's the lights out danger level. You know, it, it helps if you, if you know what the maps are. I can't even mentally imagine what this current map is realistically. Uh, I, I, oh, it's the pool one. It's now, no, I now know which map this is. The lights out is really just a problem if you like not played these stages before. Cause then it's like, good luck figuring out where you're supposed to go. Like legitimately good luck figuring it out. The first time I failed, an Octo Expansion stage, it was getting a lights out on a map I did not know. Parallel Cannon. This, I believe this is, we thought this was like Agent 4 or something like that, right? We're like, oh my gosh, Agent 4 is evil now. Land. Land, you fool. Okay, and then I believe the next guy is just gonna try to splash down on us. Yep, and there you go. Uh, we're, we're quick enough to just swim on out. Yeah, this at this point, no, notice the difference in speed we have. And also we have Mobile Ink Recovery. 
So we can just indefinitely run. This is great. This is this is what the true power of the brush is. Forget the Grisco brush. This is this is like the ultimate brush. Like it just we're never gonna run out of ink. We can just keep going, and we're going pretty fast. Let me, let me try to bump it to the guy. Yeah, and you can just one shot them. It's great. <laughs> the maniacal laughter face. <laughs> the prophecy. It was true all along. I always follow the little pearl drone instead of the actual inkling, and then I miss, and I'm like, what am I missing? All right. Well, over 4,000 coin, mem bucks, whatever the heck you want to call them. Definitely a vending machine floor. And now it really comes down to luck. Really comes down to luck. <laughs> oh, our luck is so bad right now. Okay, nope. Uh, Reroll number two. Now that's what I like to see. Mobile ink recovery. Now we're just never running out of ink. Mobile special charge. This is this is great. I'm, I'm buying it all. All right, we're going to reset. I think we, we can do, yeah, this is last reset. Wonderful rush attack. Now, now, now we're cooking. Now we are cooking. Let's go and see what the next floor has in store for us. Look at that. We went from, oh no, we're not even halfway at the halfway point to now we have only like seven slots left and we can max out our rush attack. I, you know, starts out weak. By the end of this, we're ridiculously overpowered and it's great. I, I'm all for these monochrome runs. <laughs> they are a bit ironic because the whole point of this is that, you know, we want a world of color or whatever. Oh, stronger jelly tens and Arpeggio, but I forget what they're actually called. Ar Ar Arpeggio? Archipelago. Oh, these guys are still faster than this. And our special is already charged again. I love it. I was, basically, we get like consistent uptime on our special. Uh, run speed up. We'll take it. We'll take it. I think by the time we reach the vending machine, we'll have enough coins to buy another full set of something. Okay, don't take damage. Uh, I, w I was going to say easy, but it seems like I'm struggling. Maybe I will take some damage. Where's the last guy? I also pushed them off the stage. You know it counts. It, they die. It doesn't matter if it's because they fell off the stage or because they got splatted. They die, they die. All right. Ooh, moving ink speed. That is the one I need. I completely forgot about that one. Oh, now I have to be extra careful because I want to max that one out. But also I want to get the full palette. I think there's like nine available blue, blue ones, three, six. So we have eight of them. It's one in five. It's a one in five chance of getting the one we need. As long as we get a blue. Mans wasn't ready. Mans wasn't ready. Where are you going? Uh oh, he's got bodyguards. I ain't got no body. Where did where did they go? The higher floors. They have the high Anakin. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, good luck seeing all this mess. Good just, just good luck seeing. Oh, I fell off the map. That's not good. But it's okay because we're fast. We're so fast, it doesn't matter if our shield breaks. Um I think I'm gonna go to vending machine. Now I have to be careful here. All right, we've maxed one. Nothing, nothing. And this is gonna be our last reset because I need the extra coins. Yeah, and it's like 600 at this point. Okay, so not worth it. So now the real pressure is on because I only have three slots left. And there's one specific one I need, which is right here. So with this, I will have completely maxed out all of the chips. And then I can just go ham on the last two. Doesn't matter what they are. All right, turbine. Turbine tower is probably the slowest one to do with brush now that I think about it. Can you just run into it? This, <laughs> this is how this is a Turbine! <laughs> Wait, no, it's in the sky. Hold on. I can't I can't hit it up there. Hold on. I can't leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Turbine. Ah. Uh, can't do turbine on this stage because it's in the air half the time. It's a bit unfortunate. But you know what it is what it is. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have fun with it anyways. Because we're so overpowered. What are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? Approach us? What if I approach them? They don't want me to approach them. We got a turbine on the turbine. Alright, you know what? We're just gonna hammer it. Okay, we're just gonna hammer it gets too chaotic at times um rush knockback i actually don't like the knockback ones just because they they push the enemies out of the way right which is funny if you can toss them off the map but then it's kind of annoying at times um and then mo mobile drone gouge you know we're gonna reset here run speed up that one's not too bad we'll, we'll take run speed we're at a point where we can be picky with our blue ones might as well get something that's more beneficial we're not really using the pearl drone so there's no point in using that specific chip it's kind of hoping we'd get a double but it is what it is Ah, oh, and we have another turbine don't move an octoling form oh my gosh that's that's like my kryptonite right now because I, all i want to do is move in my octoling form but if i can resist the urge we'll get 500 more coins Oh, the, the, uh, the urge, I'm not resisting it. I'm not resisting it, gamers. No. <laughs> Wait, does the special also count? Ah, the special also counts as moving in here. Ah, uh, okay. We're, we're not going to get a lot of points from this, from this bonus. But 
is what it is. Come on. Ah, oh, we lost the bonus. We, I, I, I should have just, I should have just gone ham early on. Sometimes you look at the bonus and you're like, oh, I would like the extra coins, but then other times it's like it's not worth it. Now we have a nice choice between useless. What I don't like, or more run speed. So we're just gonna get run speed. And with that, our palette is complete. So at this point, we basically have like a guaranteed like 800 extra pearls. If I get a vending machine in the next one, I can buy a bunch of pearls. I was not buying pearls so far just because I was looking for a specific blue chip and also wanted to make sure I can get a full palette for this guy. Sometimes if you wanna play it risky, you can try to get the pearls as well from the vending machine, but that's more of a mid game strategy. Late game, you just, want, you just wanna get the full palette. The other thing to note is that like, there's not really much use for pearls after you buy the stuff that you can see in the shop and all the hacks so like it's okay to not be buying the pearls late game i'm pretty sure there's nothing you can do with them which is which is why i have like 7,000 in, in my inventory wait i swear these sprinkler guys get by i can't even reach them because my range is so low and i can't run over them because i'm a brush and they're in the sky i have sprinkle guy ptsd at this point now the cool thing is that once you have collected a full pallet, you cannot get any more chips, you're gonna get pros instead. And at this point, you might as well just do the highest paying one with the highest amount of pros, even if it has danger. We're so overpowered that like, does it, does it matter? Is it really danger? Am I about to eat my words though? Because it's floor 29 and it's rigorous and it's dark and, and it's a turbine level and half the time the turbine's in the air. Maybe, but it's okay because we're not getting a barrage and they don't have the attack boost. The dark one is just a little bit annoying in my opinion. Like, it's 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 a little annoying. Whereas the one where it's like the enemies are stronger, it's not only that they're stronger, but they move faster. Uh, so they catch up to you quicker, they do more damage to you, so your armor gets destroyed faster and all this other jazz. No, no, I just can't see. It's okay. I can play this game with my eyes closed. No, I can't. Uh, but... <laughs> Maybe I could. And with that, floor 29 is cleared. And now we just have to face the boss. And this is gonna be a fun one because we can just bump into them and they'll like die instantly. Also, if you do not wanna see what the Tony Kens of the final boss of Splatoon 3 side order looks like, now's your chance to leave. Cause look at that, we have the full blue palette. We're gonna get a lot of pearls for this. Plus we're gonna get about 50 pearls just from the extra men bucks we have not spent. So I think we're gonna end up getting around like 900-ish pearls. And then since I do have the boost, probably around 990 pearls. All right, now unfortunately, once you hit these things once, they're in the air, so you can't just brush them. You have to like, you, ha you can't bump into them. You have to brush them, which is a bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. Or you could just, you know, hammer. You, you could just hammer. Now this guy, I have bad news for him. I have really bad news for him. Okay, maybe he has bad news for me. Maybe he has bad news for me. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> we tried, I tried to be funny and I almost died. I should I should have just gone for hammer right away because hammer does a lot more damage than the, the brush itself because the hammer also counts as like impact damage. All right, let's see, let's see how the hammer does on him. Yeah, should, I should have just saved the hammer from last time. All right, when he uses the lasers, I just like to run away because lasers like to get me a lot. And I don't like getting got. Okay, now as we approach the next one, our hammer is fully charged because we have the, the mobile charging and then we're gonna swim real quick to get closer because we have super fast swimming speed. And then we're just gonna throw a hammer at him even though he can't do anything. And then we're just gonna run around because we wanna charge another hammer real quick. And then when his back is turned, we're just gonna hammer him real quick and then uh, he's dead. <laughs> it's, it's great. The strategy is so simple. You just move around a little and then you pull out the hammer and then everything dies. It's enjoyable. This is why I enjoy the monochrome runs, runs as well. They get you a lot of pearls. This is what we care about, right? We've got the clear, it took us about 21 minutes. I think it's mostly because I was goofing off. And uh, now we're going to get a bunch of the tone chain bonus because it's all monochrome. And this piles up really, really high. So in total, what we want to see is how many pearls we have gained at the end of this. We got 89,000 plus the 1.1 from the risky rewards and we have gained a 987 pearls about a thousand could have been a bit more if we got a bit luckier with our pulls uh, especially from the vending machine and the double chip rates so sometimes you can get a lot more just by also buying pearls from like vending machines this time around i could not buy pearls from the vending machines just because we were a bit unlucky that's okay because we still pulled it off and we got ourselves eight thousand pearls i don't know where i can spend those thousand pearls and i also don't know at what point the pearls cap off but something tells me that they cap off at all nines because there's not really enough space there for another number. We have also fully completed all of the pallets. And as you can see, there's no, there's no, there's no reward for this. <laughs> That's it. 
There's, there's nothing. You get nothing. Uh, I, I, I can go back to Encopolis Square and check real quick. But, well, you do get badges for completing specific paths. See, you got a new badge. Try it out on your splash tag, which is what we will do. Don't don't mind the way my Octoling looks right now. But yeah, once you go into the badges section, you have all these. You got color chips for collecting the different tones. Um, yeah, that is that is that is all you get. <laughs> you get more color chips. Uh, what do you do these for? You can just put them. You can just be like, cool, look at me. I have color chip badges. That's it. They, that's it. That's all you get. Anyways, thank you for watching, gamers. Uh, I hope this was helpful and a bit reassuring. Maybe if nothing else, I hope this was reassuring that you can try it too. My luck was pretty bad. You can get better luck. And even if you do not get the full palette filled out at the end, that's okay because you still get a lot of pearls. Anyways, that's all for me. Go check out the more detailed guide that explains why all these things. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll squid you in the next one. Bye.